that we are interviewing spirit medium David Trainer, who is Yay. from London, England. This is my friend Lisa. This is her fabulous store, Verazioni, on 65 Spring Street. So make sure you come down and check it out. Also, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube show, Medium Rare with Lisa, do it now. Hi everyone, thank you so much for being here tonight on Medium Rare with Lisa. We have spirit medium David Trainer, and I am so excited to have you here tonight. Thank you so much for being here with us. Oh, you're welcome. It's lovely to be here. And I know obviously I'm in the UK and we're doing this across the miles, but it's wonderful. Yeah, it's awesome how technology works today. <laughs> I know it's wonderful, isn't it? It's lovely to see you. You too. So I met you through the Facebook Live, which is something you do on a consistent basis. Um, yes, that's right. Having this gift and doing it, do you feel that doing something on a, being Facebook Live makes that much of a difference for people, especially people that may be skeptical of your gift? Oh, of course. I mean, really, um, doing Facebook Live is, has really opened the door for me to get out there. Um, obviously, before now, I was, I was very well known in the Americas and in um, Spain and the UK because of the tours. But Boom Live has, has helped me to reach people in their homes who wouldn't ordinarily be able to come out and see my um, my shows or my demonstrations. Also, um, people who are skeptical may uh, think twice about coming along to a demonstration. So what they do is they they sit and watch the feeds, see the hits, because of course it's much more evidential for somebody to get a hit on a live feed because it is impossible to pick anything up at all about them. And, and maybe then it's mind-changing so they'll come along and, and hopefully not be sceptical anymore, which is, is really the aim, I suppose. However, there are some people who, no matter how much you tell them, they're still going to be sceptical, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. where they are, isn't it? There's nothing you can do. And it's hard to, you know, have you ever read someone that was so sceptical and even you were correct with reading them, but they still said they don't believe. Well, the thing is, is this, yes, and obviously the, uh, on odd occasions you get those people. The vast amount of skeptics, the, the, the more skeptical they are, the greater they believe afterwards, believe it or not. Because skepticism, it's not really a healthy place. Okay, it's not really a healthy place in the positive mindset. So, when you're skeptic, you are really your vibration is quite low because you 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 are sort of questioning anything in 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 to do with like sort of really the reality of life. Really, you you are just skeptical, and that's why it's when we when we um, are accurate with them, when we connect with them, we're accurate and we, we have hits with them, they usually, they top the scale and end up being the most absolute, unbelievable uh, followers because they're just, they're just so blown away with it, you see. And I always think a healthy place to enter this is to be uh, just open I always think that is the greatest uh, position that we come into this, is just saying, well, look, I don't know what I believe. I'm just open to what anything could be. I'm open to new possibilities. And that's the best place to enter into this, you know? Right. Now, how did you, how old were you when you started this gift? And how did you know exactly what was going on? I mean, were you just sitting as a little boy on the bed going... Someone's talking to me, or I see. <laughs> no. no. Um, I've I've been born this way. Uh, my parents were undertakers, okay. and when when my dad used to go and pick up people who have passed over, uh, pick their bodies up to take them down to to be prepared for their funeral, I used to get up in the morning, and I was only around the age of four, and telling their names and where they'd come from and how they'd passed 
And I was like a little hundred year old man at the age of four or five. And I used to tell him that and it used to drive him mad. So they brought a priest to to check me out because they were very strong Catholics. And uh, he came out and he checked me out and he just said, the guy's got a gift, leave him and he'll grow out of it. But of course I didn't grow out of it, no. And I became very, very much uh, uh, more clairvoyant as they got older and it just went from strength to strength and of course this is the end product spirit medium david trainer <laughs> right. it's amazing i mean when you did my reading on facebook live you nailed everything i i was i was blown away i was just he hit wow. everything. Um, and that to me is someone that has a true gift and that's what i try to find on this show is just you know mediums and psychics that have this gift that can explore with us and tell us their stories and where they started from and you know when you have this gift and you're you're listening to spirit are you seeing pictures are they talking to you when i are talking are they like dancing i mean i don't know i mean what are they well it's you know and I've been born as an all-round spirit medium. So when I see spirits, I see them like I see physicals, except not as solid. Okay. And then sometimes I'll, and that will be retrospective of myself, so outside of myself, okay? Sometimes I'll see them retrospective and introspective at the same time. And then sometimes I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get evidence through just voice, so they'll give me runs of speech or they'll give me pictures and voice or they'll give me pictures, feelings and voice. But also, uh, sometimes I'm a physical medium. So uh, if you run back a few of the going lives, I think it was a week last Sunday, uh, ectoplasm came from me and you could see the outlines of the spirits and then the orbs all coming around me. And, and so sometimes I'm physical and my mediumship turns to physical mediumship. But I'm very lucky, uh, Lisa, because I get a good understanding, a good connection, a good link with the afterworld. Uh, and usually I'm there thereabouts on, on the money there, you know? So that's how I get them. And um, then, of course, I can draw them. I'm a psychic artist. So I can... Because I've, I've seen that a lot where you, you're drawing figures for, for people that have passed on. So how does that work being a psychic artist? Well, you allow the spirit to use your hands to draw their faces. If you go on the live feed, on the pre-recorded live feed that we've just done, the last lady who I messaged, uh, uh, her name was Irene, the, the lady in the spirit world, and I drew her face and brought her through to her daughter and she i said is this your mum and she was she just said yes that's my mum irene you've drawn her so then i she just asked me to email the picture to her and that's what we've done so psychic arts evidence in itself however it is not something that completely occurs um uh, it's just something that happened. You know the lady in the background there who I'm seeing? She's got sort of red curly hair. Yeah, Corey. She was one of the people you were going to read today. Yeah. Was there's, a lady, there's a lady stood at the side of her now in the spirit world. A lady stood at the side of her now in the spirit world. And that lady, she's about 5'7", five, 5'8", five, and she's got quite big hair. She's quite a bigger built lady. And that lady, she comes forward to me. She stood at the side of this lady here. And she's telling me that she's been going through some difficult personal times here in the physical world. And she's been very let down and hurt at the moment and as she comes forward to me that lady she's just there stood at the side near the rack of the clothes she's telling me to say to you that she loves you corey and she's telling me to say to you that she has conditions in the chest area which take her over to the spirit world and as she draws forward to me she's showing me that you were very 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 hurt very emotional and it's took a long time for you to just get into this space right now that you're in. 
Now, as she draws close to me, she's also showing me that you've been a little bit strapped for cash at the moment. She tells me that you've been really having problems financially, and she tells me that you've been really concerning yourself, and you didn't know which way to turn about this money. You got it? Yeah? And she told me to say you've been talking to the people there, Lisa, the young lady who's hiding in the corner, and yourself, about it, because you've been really worried about what's going on, what to do, what's going on. Can I say to you, I don't know how this is to you as well, I feel there's been a housing issue around you. Yeah. A housing issue, she's telling me, which has been very hard for you to understand. Very, you found it very difficult to move forward. And she tells me to say to you that she hopes that you will be able to um, sort this matter out. But she tells me you need, first of all, to sit down and make a plan. It's like because of all the hassle that you've had, your mind is defunct at the moment. It's all over the place. And she tells me to say that she's been trying to love you from her soul and to give you hugs to let you know she's around. Now, she makes me feel she's either your grandmother or your great-grandmother, but she is very close to you. Do you understand? Told me it was my great grandmother. Sorry? It could be both. Yeah. Oh, yeah it could be both. I, I missed that. Um, no, so she had said it was her grandmother. Well, yes. It could, it could be either. She thinks it's either either her great grandmother or her grandmother. Just wait with me. Who are you, darling? Right, 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 right. Yes, she's your grandmother, darling. She's your grand. Your grandmother. And she's just letting me know that she's around you and she tells me to say to you that she wants you to know that she feels very, 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 very sorry that you've had to go through all this situation. She tells me to say to you that she feels that you've been really hurt and it's really sad for her, okay? Now, as she draws close to me, your grandmother, she just tells me to say that she feels that sometimes you've let yourself into this situation. You fell into a trap because somebody couldn't tell you the truth, be honest, or put the cards on the table. And she tells me it really, really upsets her that because she tells me that she feels at times that you need guidance, and she's just told me to say she wants you to know that she loves you from her soul, but she does feel at times you need guidance. Okay? Now, that is a portrait of your grandmother. Is that your grandmother? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's her. She's just me to say to you that she really, really loves you from her soul. And she tells me to say she doesn't like to see you in this space. Now, she's brought a little boy forward in the spirit world now with her. And the little boy is miscarried, terminated, or doesn't make it into the physical world from your family. And she's just letting me know that she's got a little boy there. Do you understand, please? I think so. Yeah, that's fine. She brought one little boy forward to let you know he's there. And I'm going to say to you, they're still showing me that you should make a plan. You should sit down and make a plan what you want, what you want to achieve. Because in your mindset, you've had so much upset and so much hassle, which has not been your doing, that your mind is blown. Okay, so anything, if you can commit that to paper, what you need, want and desire, you will be able then to move forward. And that's the main thing for you. Can I say to you as well, <clears throat> I feel there's a new venture or a new direction of a new venture coming around you. I, I'm going to say to you, 
I don't know whether that's an expansion of a business or indeed you're moving a business in a different direction. But I want you to watch that space, okay? Okay. Okay? Because there's a new venture. And I'll be right with you. Now, she just tells me your grandmother. She's just stood at the side of you there. And now what she wants to do is to walk up to you so you can physically feel her presence. Are you all right with that? Yes. Okay. Now remember, the physical touch is that. Okay? The physical touch is that. The spiritual touch is cold and just drafty. And she will just stand on this side of you here, just near the clothes rack, and you'll just start to feel fractionally drafty on one side because she's going to try and kiss your face, okay? Go on then, darling. You can go for it. She just told me she loves you. She's coming forward towards you and you'll just start to feel very, just a fractionally drafty on one side. Do you understand? Yes. She's just trying to kiss your face. That's why you felt a little bit chilly there. She just told me to say, be strong. Don't worry, you'll not be homeless. I love you with all my heart. She just said, I love you with all my heart. And I miss you, sweetheart. Sending my love to everybody, my gorgeous granddaughter. And that's what she's just done. And that's her portrait, sweetheart, there. And she wants you to know she is well. She's in your shop with you and watching you work. God bless. Okay? So, like, okay, that right there was absolutely beautiful, absolutely amazing. So, when, what? <laughs> clicked inside like what just, she just came in and like david stop talking to lisa i want to talk to my granddaughter i mean how does that well what what happened was lisa is i could actually see her retrospectively on the dvd on the video on the screen at the side of the lady with the lovely red hair beautiful hair and i could see her building up at the side of her and now she's still there and she's trying to give her a hug, but her hands are going through her. But she's at the side of her there. She's trying to give her a hug and her hands are going through her. And that's why she's just touched her wrist because she's feeling chilly now around the middle part of her. Because her nan is trying to give her a hug, but her hands are going through her. Do you understand? What you need to understand is, is when you do this correctly when you do this properly okay it is absolutely fundamental that somebody joins you from the afterworld to be able to do this fundamentally and accurately it can't be something you make up okay so it's like one of those situations we don't summon people we wait till they come forward you got me? Yeah. And that's, that's very, very important because, you see, I have, I have worked very extensively in America. With, with, I have an American team there in America. And they are lovely people. They are. The downside is, is there's lots and lots of clairvoyants over there who are not real. Exactly. Okay? That's the purpose of what I'm trying to do is figure out the reels from the fakes. Yes. You you I have I have been in front of a lot and they are not real. You know? And that is the most important thing because American people can be very gullible by nature. Okay? And I'll tell you I've watched it with my own eyes. I saw a guy in New York he was he was pretending to bring people's relatives through and it was rubbish you know it was baloney and you've got to really look at this in the real state if somebody has genuinely got somebody there the evidence should be accurate shouldn't it right now how do you how are you able to differentiate from that how do you how are you able to figure out they're real they're fake 
I mean, because I can see them doing it. I can see them doing it. You know, it's the same in the UK. The UK, uh, genuinely, honestly, uh, and I love American people. They're my favourite people ever. I just love them. I just love it. I, I have more friends in New York. My One of my best friends lives in New York. I have more friends in New York than you will ever know, honestly. I love them. But by nature, they can be gullible. And it's not like that in the UK. In the UK, everybody demands a certain level with this. Okay. Uh, when, you, when you watch some sometimes, I can see what is going wrong there because people um say for instance myself i would i will strive to bring honesty to a situation or strive to make something respectful uh, and if that means that i have to do this without money that's that's fine as well it, i'll strive to make something respectful accurate honest and real but you see once you color somebody's path with money there's a different slant on it yeah, however do you get what i'm saying yes i totally i totally you know i know that you know when i lived in la for 10 years you know having certain readings and it was like well i can't do anything without money and i'm like well you told me this would happen and this didn't happen and that's another one of my questions is when people say certain things and nothing happens, like, I, I don't understand that. Like, right, okay, because you see, I'm just gonna put uh, the other lady's grandmother there to one side, so if she ever wants that, she emails in, I will send sure. a copy of that, you know? Okay. Yeah, I'll email Barry for it. Okay, perfect. Well, you see, the thing is, is this, is, when we are talking about events coming up in somebody's life, when we are talking about, it's called precognitive behavior, uh, taking one's life path and understanding it and taking hold of it and then manifesting yourself to walk alongside them and see what the future holds for them. Well, you see, you to be able to do that in a very accurate and a very, um, shall we say, a very accurate and a very formatted way, you have to very much understand the vehicle of the spirit. It's not, it's not something you can learn. It's something within you which you pull and draw upon. And it's not, it's not, if you don't understand how to use it correctly, then what it can do is it can misguide. It can also become very, very confused with your, with your own thoughts and feelings. So the person ends up making all the so-called wrong decisions, all the so-called rubbishy decisions that then let, causes more rubbish, more hassle, more in, inaccuracy. And then it be, all becomes a big mishmash of psychic waste. Right. You get me? Yep. Now, do you, when you hear people, other mediums and psychics that say, you know, they can teach you how to be a medium or they can teach you to be more intuitive, and I don't know if you do certain courses or I don't know, are those things a legit or is it, you know, you can't teach someone how to be a medium? You know, everybody has a level of ability. Everybody in this world has a level of ability to, to talk with loved ones or get, get small snippets of information. Everybody has a, an underlying ability to be a psychic, okay? And there's a difference between a psychic and a medium. Now, but every medium is psychic, okay? But not every psychic is a medium. You get me? Yes. So the thing is, is this. Everybody has an amount of disability. But in our world, in our world, some people 
have a greater ability and some people have an average ability. It's like anything. If you go for a haircut to a hair salon, um, some hairdressers are gifted, natural, able, and some hairdressers are average. You get me? Yes. And it's the same with clairvoyance. Uh, if you are born this way, you always end up being a gifted clairvoyant. If you are created or you go along to do lessons, you're only going to make it as much as you put into it. But you see, when, when you are born this way, it's, it's a way of life. It's not, it's not my, when people say to me, you know, oh, you're going live again, um, David. I love it when you go live. When, when you're going live again, do you not have any life? That is my life. I am Spirit Medium David Trainer. I'm here to serve my public on the planet. I am meant to go live. I'm meant to be who I am. I can't divorce myself from that. It would be taking the blood from my veins. I'm Spirit Medium David Trainer, and I'm here to stay because that's how I am, you know? But, but yes, the, the, the main most important thing is that mediums, mediums usually on, on this type of level are born this way. They can go on, people can go on courses, but they'll only ever be, it will only ever make them aware that there's something else or make them have a, 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 a level, um, maybe just an understanding or an intimation. It doesn't make you get there. And, and the people who get there are always the ones who are born that way. And sadly, people may disagree with me. But to be honest with you, in all the years, and I'm 50 years old now, in all the years that I've done this, since a little child, I have never known anyone, okay, who learns, learns it, who has to learn it, end up actually being able to do it in an efficient way. And it sounds sad, and I'm sorry to say that, but it's the absolute truth of the situation. It's the reality. Just at the side there, there's a lady with dark hair. I think she's a customer. Lisa. And I thank you, and that was phenomenal, and I will make sure those girls get their readings. Um, so what happens, like, in that situation? You just have, like, a whole bunch of people in line going, I want to get through, I want to get through. I mean, how does that all... Well, in your shop at the moment, in your shop, there where you are, here, yes, there's about 13 or 14 people, spirits in the afterworld, all hanging around. Because every time you, sometimes you see, when uh, people go shopping, or when they go into the stores, their loved ones go along with them. Excuse me, to see. You get me? Got it. Because it, it's a crazy thing. But you see... People don't realise that when they when they um, go into a shop or when they have their home in their home, it's usual that people in the afterworld join them. You know, right. and one of the one of the gifts I have, one of the abilities I have, is allowing spirits to draw close to physicals who they relate to, so that they can feel them and sense them there. You got me? Yeah. And I think that's magical, because people then know that life is continuous. I'm doing some uh, paranormal work at the moment, paranormal investigations with the Parafantastics. Have you heard of them, Lisa? I haven't heard of them, but that sounds fascinating. Yeah, they are absolutely amazing. 
They're the most absolute up-to-date paranormal investigation team. And I'm the medium on the investigation, and it's going viral. And they are the parafantastics, and it's wonderful. It really is wonderful. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot going on. So, you know, you've got to watch this space. But I believe that if you will stick to your guns and you grow what you're doing, you will have success without doubt. Without doubt. Awesome. Do so, it's beautiful. So, Facebook Live and paranormal um, shows that you're doing. Is there anything else that you have coming up that you want people to know about? Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, I've got my Facebook Live, which is going live on Public Figures Food Medium Facebook page. I've also got lots. I've got a documentary out there called My Psychic Life. Um, I'm going to be uh, on a couple of UK shows in January. So I've got a lot going on in my tours. But people can catch me uh, on the uh, live feeds. And, you know, it's all free. You can catch me. And it, it's all unrehearsed. It's absolutely the real thing, which is the main thing for everybody to know it's not contrived made up or anything else it just is what it is which is fantastic isn't it it no, really is awesome. i mean this has just been a great amazing day you've been awesome um you have given me so much time and so much amazing experience today i can't even it's just unbelievable you you truly have an amazing gift